Yo, what up YouTube? Chaotic Lizards here. Welcome back to the channel. Tonight, I'm super excited. We're going to be tigging on the Titanium Unlimited 200 for the first time. So, I figured it appropriate to do an unboxing of my brand new Argon Gas Flow Meter. Agron, baby. Agron, baby. Agron, baby. Love it. This is an Agron regulator. Don't you guys just love that? No, in all seriousness, I'm super excited to check this out. Quality, right, right off the bat. Doesn't seem awful. It's smaller than other Argon gas flow meters I've used in the past, but we're gonna find out. Made in Made in China, so Agron. Anyways, came with a couple of fittings there, a couple of adapters, so let's set it up. Agron flow meter, here it is. 100% Argon shielding gas. Boom. Tig torch. Gas hose. Okay, so hey everyone. First time taking with the Titanium Unlimited 200. Well, not really, but first time showing you guys. Anyways. This is a project I've been wanting to get into for a while, some way to kind of organize my grinding wheels. So I got this plate here, it's about an eighth inch thick, and then I've got these bolts. I figured I'd weld them up, kind of slide my grinding wheels over like this, and then eventually mount this somewhere. So let me just start by saying, anytime that you're ticking, you're going to want your material clean, very clean, cleaner than, cleaner than you've ever done while you were stick welding. I'll say. I've got my machine at 140 amps. This is an eighth inch plate and about quarter inch, three eighths inch thick head of that bolt. Now, keep in mind, the Titanium Unlimited 200 is a DC only scratch start TIG machine. So you have to give it one of these how do you do's to get the arc started. I don't have my table grounded. That's why nothing happened right there. Okay, so I've got my gas 100% argon at 15 CFH, and I'm just going to go ahead and tack this bolt to this plate right now. Just a little fusion TIG tack. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're all tacked up. Felt pretty good, felt pretty good. Um, now I'm just going to run the pass around with some pillow wire. Hey everyone, so I just wanted to be clear. I'm not a professional TIG welder by any means, but I have done it a time or two at work a few years ago, I was partnered with some really cool traveling old timer from the deep south for a couple of months working on stainless pipe for a pharmaceutical plant. And you know, all the bells and whistles that go with that type of stuff. All clean work. This guy left my head full of invaluable TIG welding related knowledge. Anyhow, one day I'm getting hands on with a joint on the bench, walking the cup for like the second time ever. Something like a two and a half inch stainless steel socket weld, schedule 40, brand new, straight out of the case, Miller Max Star STH, absolutely beautiful conditions. And yeah, I've been into TIGGIN ever since. Love it actually. But yeah, between work in my garage and a whole bunch of research, that's the extent of my experience. That being said, this is a scratch start TIG machine, so it can be tough to keep your tungsten sharp after striking an arc especially with inexperience. My advice, just strike it like a stick rod, but softer, as soft as you possibly can, like barely touching the base metal. It's easy, 
and you shouldn't have to sharpen your tungsten too often. I've mostly only used high frequency machines, but once you get used to it, the Titanium 200 Unlimited is a very smooth TIG machine. I was very surprised. Hey guys, so project complete. Um, I was thinking I would tack it right up here on my little table here where I store my stuff. I'm just gonna stick weld it, stick tack it. So here it is, as you can see, I've welded this little hook here just for my um, grinding wheels and my wire wheels with smaller diameter center holes here. They won't fit on these pins. TIG welded all these pins and I'm just gonna stick weld it right in place here. So when I need a grinding wheel, I just reach down and I grab it. All right, let's do it. Yeah, baby. That's some 6011 on the Hobart Stickmate LX. Feeling good. And that's all she needs. A couple of Taxaronian cheeses, nice and hot. She'll hold. Figured while we were here, we'd break out some stainless and take the cup for a walk while I did my final rant. This is two inch Schedule 40 316L stainless pipe and 332 316L filler wire. This stuff right here takes years and years of practice and real world experience to become good at it. But man, when you are good at it, it looks absolutely beautiful. Anyways, the Titanium Unlimited 200 is a really smooth TIG machine. It blew away my expectations, it really did. So five out of five stars for the TIG function on this machine, very impressed. Oh, and that Argon gas flow meter from China actually worked out great, so no complaints there. See this? My son made me that. It means like and subscribe. So please do.